My name is Bill Ward. I'm a retired geology professor, and I spend a lot of time in the gorge looking at this formation because it's so well exposed here, and, and the unique exposures uh, allow us to see these formations and these features in three dimensions and a lot of, and that's unusual because you generally you get to look at rocks in a in a cliff face or a stream face here we have them spread out where you can see the tops and the bottoms and the sides and it's uh, pretty neat and and when we first came out here there wasn't a blade of grass everything was perfectly pristine and extremely well exposed so you know you didn't have any interruptions in your, in your pages of history that you're turning as you come up through this gorge. This was a sh very shallow shelf, marine shelf. It was on the northwestern margin of the Gulf of Mexico. So it was a very extensive, very shallow shelf. This was a, a snail that was living at that time before, uh, during the time this was a shallow subtitle and that before it was exposed. That's a fairly good size uh, marine snail. One of the unique features of this gorge is that is that the old stream that this that this turbulent water went down and and scoured out so deeply was it along a fault plane, one of the Balcones faults. And so you get fantastic exposures of, a, of the Balcones fault, a main fault with a lot of, of subsidiary faults around it, and, and some other things about the way uh, rocks deform in the fault zones that that are just uniquely exposed here. I mean, you just get three-dimensional exposures of that that you just don't get anywhere else. And so the structural geologists are really excited about these outcrops and what they can learn from them. And so the Southwest Research Institute with David Farrell and Alan Morris are doing a big study on this fault plane right over here. And uh, they have they have uh, got some cooperation of several oil companies in this and that, that are supporting the study. And the reason is, is because they're building models of that kind of deformation, that kind of faulting, that oil companies can use in interpreting what's in the subsurface. In the hill country, you just don't get exposures like this, or, or hardly any place else, because People are coming from California and all over to see this. Become a DocuBlogger. Log on to DocuBloggers.org to share your opinions and story ideas, or get out your camera and create your own DocuBlog.